Okay, so I ran to get what's called the bike special foods bag, which um, all Ironmans have this at about the halfway court point on the bike. It's at the turnaround at Hobby. And I'll have two water bottles identically mixed to the way I did pretty much the first two. I, I may put a little extra sodium in them. I might put a, an extra half of a scoop in each so there'll be even more salt. And then um, I'll put these in here. Okay, and I might throw in an extra bar or an extra espresso hammer gel packet or something in there. I always like to have a little extra. Like uh, I'm going to have one gel flask on my... Um, bike, but I'll probably have another gel flask in here, and I may not need it, but what if I drop a gel flask, or what if I go really hard and have a great first half of the bike, but I'm really hungry? I've actually been in Kona and actually ended up doing one and a half of these instead of one of these flasks, and had one of my best bike splits ever. So it's okay to put an extra three or four dollars worth of food in your special foods bag, and then if you don't need it, you just throw it away. It only weighs a few ounces. So. And, and in many cases of people dropping a water bottle, dropping their gel flask, and not having enough calories or hydration and being in real trouble. So that's basically the bike. Now, what about the run? Well, what I do on the run is um, I use these on the run. Now, obviously, these are smaller. I carry anywhere from two to four of these, probably two in Hawaii. Um, there's a lot of fluids on the course. They have their own race drink, and um, they have you know gels and stuff. But I really like the hammer gel product, so what I do is the single strength bottle that you saw me mix here, I'm going to mix in here for about, you know, and then I'm going to fill up a, um, one of these bottles. We'll fill up about three or four of these, okay? And then I'm going to take it and put them in here. So now I've got these two hammer gel bottles on me. Now, I can't make it through the whole run just on hammer gel. The run's not as long, but I can get maybe 70% of my calories from the sustained energy and the hammer gel. And I might mix them up a little differently. Like as the race goes on, I tend to want more and more caffeine. So I'm more likely to maybe have one that's no sustained energy and just this. Now I want to warn you, sustained energy should not be left in the hot sun all day. So if you do this, you may need to freeze your bottles or something like that. Or if you're really worried and paranoid about these spoiling in the heat, um, you can just stick to hammer gel. But that's how I do the run. And then I mix in a little electrolyte powders in here too. And again, I'll also have a little pocket on that belt, and then that will be some of the hammer gel, little plastic packets, the little single serving ones. So that's how I get through the run. I don't do as much creatine for the run, if any. You know, maybe one, one or two scoops across three or four of these fuel belt bottles. But that's how we do the run. And, um, and I'll take all of this to the race site tomorrow, and, um, and I'll show you kind of how I put it in the bike. It'll be in the dark. You don't want to do this and take this all out there and leave it on the pier in Kona or in the heat of the hot race to let things spoil or get hot. Um, you want to go to the and put them in the refrigerator overnight so they'll be ready for you in the morning. So basically that's that's kind of my strategy. I'll also take one of these gel flasks and put it in a horizontal holder uh, on the uh, top tube of the bike. Uh, most people have these. They have a lot of ways of carrying them. You'll see that on my bike. And I actually prefer the tropical flavor for my bait in a hot race. I like to have a little espresso mixed with sustained energy. It's kind of like coffee and cream. And then, but for like the one I'm going to take a lot, I'll take the, the tropical hammer, tropical hammer gel, and you can put a little the electrolyte powder in with it in the flask, and that covers that. So that's that's about it. And I'm looking to have a great race tomorrow. And as long as I time myself and get with these, and the great thing about this is. If you ever need, if you ever think you're drinking too much calories, you just add more water. If you're ever not getting enough calories, then you know you put in more hammer gel and less water. So I'll be taking a lot of water hand ups. And if you get in trouble, yeah, it's okay to drink the race drink for like you're gonna take ten bottles in a day. If one of those bottles happens to be the race drink, then so be it. But I just can't stand racing a whole Iron Man on you know sugary sweet drinks. So that's why I like my hammer gel as much as possible. Thank you.